What is up insaners and welcome to another video of the Fantasy Premier League 2022-23 season. In this one guys, we're going to talk about some of the best free hit drafts for Double Game Week 29. So if you like the video today, make sure to hit the like button. Also subscribe to the Insanely Football YouTube channel for more such FPL content. And with that, let's start today's video. So we'll start with the first draft here and this draft is basically attacking the Double Game Week. So we don't have any single Game Week players, all of the players in this squad are Double Game Week options. In goal, we have Kepa and Ward. I think Kepa is going to be our starting goalkeeper. Chelsea has decent fixtures and there is a possibility of a clean sheet. So I think Kepa is pretty good. Then in terms of our defence, it's a pretty much template defence with Estupinian and the double up of Botman and Trippier. Then we have Shaw and Chilwell as well. So all attacking options, we're going to play a back three with Estupinian, Shaw and Chilwell. I feel all three do possess some decent attacking threat and they can give us a good haul. So I think these are the three options to kind of go for. Now in terms of midfield, we've doubled up on the Brighton defence, so we have Marsh plus Mitoma. You can also go for McAllister who's been playing that number 10 role for the Brighton team. I think all three are really good options and you can take a combination or a double up of either of them. Then we also have a double up of Fernandes and Rashford. Now Fernandes has been really good for Man United, he's been creating a lot of chances. In fact, he's created 14 chances in his last 4 matches and that's more than any other midfielder in the game. So I think he's a really good option. There's a good case to be made to double up on the United midfield with Bruno and Rashford. Now, Rashford right now does have a flag and if he's injured, maybe we can talk about replacements but I think a double up is a really good pick. Then we have James Madison from Leicester City. Now, he's up against Crystal Palace and Aston Villa and there's good potential in both fixtures. Now, he's been involved in 26 shots over the last 4 matches. He's created 13 and he's also taken a 13 of his own. So, there's a lot of potential in Madison getting assists, getting attack returns, getting a goal. And I think we can really benefit from him as a pick in Double Game Week 29. Now, coming to our forwards, and we have Watkins, Isak, and Tony. Now, all three slightly cheaper options. So, we've not gone for the premium options because there aren't any having a good Double Game Week. Now, Watkins is the number one pick among our forwards. Now, he's on penalties. He also has eight goal contributions in his last eight games, which is basically six goals and two assists. And overall, I think he's been in good form. So, he's a good pick. Then we also have Isak. He comes as a second forward in this draft. He's only owned by 3% managers and I think he's fully fit now. I think he's also picking up form. So, he's a good option. I think Newcastle's attack definitely gets a lot better when Isak is playing as a part of it. He has three goals in his last two games. I think there's good potential for him to score more goals. As a third option, we have the most popular double game week 29 forward, Ivan Tony. Now, he's in 41% of the overall FPL teams right now. And I think he has decent potential against Brighton and Man United, though both the oppositions are not easy defences. So, I think it's a bit tricky. Plus, he's also just one booking away from getting a two-match suspension and that could happen in the first game of the double game week 29. So, it's a risky pick. Now, in case if you don't want to go for Tony, you can also go for Havertz, who's currently flagged. Now, the information that we have is that he left the Germany camp midway through the international break due to a flu infection. Now, that could remain or maybe that kind of subsides and he's okay. If he's okay, I think he's a great option. He scored in his last two Premier League games and he has a decent double game week. From an attacking point of view, I think Chelsea can do really well this week. Both the opponents that Chelsea are facing, they're top two for big chances conceded since the World Cup. I think that's a great stat for Chelsea attackers. So I think Havertz if fit is a better option than Ivan Tony. Now let's move on to the second draft. And the second draft is basically spreading the risk. So we've not gone for as many double ups as we did in draft one. And we've kind of reduced the risk here. So instead of a Trippier plus a Botman combination, we've gone for Henry from Brentford. Now Henry in particular is okay, he's absolutely fine, but Brentford don't really have the best set of fixtures. And in case if you are planning to play this option, only then this kind of situation arises. Otherwise, if he's on your bench, I think you should be fine. The defence remains the same in this draft. The only change that we have here is that Navas from Nottingham Forest, he comes as a differential goalkeeper option. Now he's less than 1% owned. He might not be a popular option right now, but I think he's a great pick for this particular week. The Forest are playing Wolves at home and Leeds away. Both teams don't really score a lot of goals and there is potential for Navas to keep a clean sheet in at least one of the games if not two. So I think if you want to go for a differential option, if you are okay taking a bit of a risk, I think Navas is a great pick. Then in midfield, we have Mo Salah from Liverpool. Now if you feel that Liverpool and Mo Salah in particular can do well from an attacking sense, you can definitely bet on Mo Salah. Now he's not heavily owned which is not a big surprise considering what has happened with Liverpool and Salah this season. At 25%, I think you can gain massively if you have him in your team and if he does really well. I know the fixtures are tough but Salah is a player who can score against big teams. I mean he's done that this season. He got 8 points against City, 15 points against Tottenham, then 21 points in one of the games against United and 8 points in the other one. So he can definitely score against a big team and if you want to go against the crowd and if you are chasing, I think Mo Salah should definitely be in your FPL team for Game Week 29. 
Now let's move on to the third draft and this is a draft with single game week options. Now a lot of you might be thinking why would you have a single game week player in a double game week especially on a free hit. Now hear me out I think there are some decent teams who have decent fixtures this week so Arsenal is a good fixture against Leeds and that's why we've gone for a couple of Arsenal options. One defender and the other one is Saka in midfield. Now I think both of them can return so Gabriel can give us a clean sheet maybe even an attacking return considering that Leeds aren't really a great side in terms of keeping out goals from set pieces. Then we have Saka as well who's been in great form and I think he can definitely score a massive haul against Leeds because Leeds aren't really a great side defensively as well. So I think there's a lot of potential in spite of both these players, both these options having just one fixture, I think they can do really, really well. Now in terms of forwards, we have a premium spot available as well because we have a lot of money in general. So I think you can go for Kane or Haaland. Now Haaland has a flag right now and let's see what happens with him near the deadline. If he is fit, I think he's a great option, a much better option than Harry Kane because he has, still has a lot of potential to score despite having a tough game against Liverpool. So there's good potential in Haaland but right now we have Harry Kane as an option. He's against Everton and he has a decent record against Everton. Now Tottenham will be without Conte for the first game and I think it'll be very interesting to see how the team responds, how the players play. I think this could be a great game for Harry Kane overall. So I think if you're okay not going with all double game week options which is absolutely a strategy, I mean you can definitely play like that. I think Harry Kane is a great pick. So guys these are some of my top pre-hit drafts for double game week 29. What do you think about these drafts? Do let me know in the comments below. That'll be all for this video guys. I hope you liked and enjoyed the video today. I hope you found it useful. If you did, make sure to hit the like button. Also subscribe to the Insanely Football YouTube channel for more such FPL content. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.